So apparently there's going to be two lines of boats that stretch out to the reef edge. They're very close in, we've been told right now. And then they're going to pour a krill in between the two lines of boats and the whale sharks come in to feed. We'll soon find out what that looks like in about 20 minutes. What I have said lately that we have, we will be driving to the briefing area. By the way, we'll go also for the weight check. So we will be uh, going to the briefing area, and you will do the entry for your snorkeling there. There will be a paddle boat that uh, you will be on, and then uh, they will wait until the time will be finished. Like you have 30 minutes, so the boat will stay there until you are finished. Now, try to make it possible that you will be close to the boat because after you are in the feeding area, you will be jumping in, okay? Jumping in, you can, you can uh, snorkel, but try to stay close with your boat because that boat there, the first, uh, the first line, there's like a boat there. As soon as there's another boat coming, then it will be like back up, back up, back up and, until you will be somewhere here, okay? So try to look at your boat from time to time and try to avoid also like very close to the whale shark. Sometimes you cannot avoid this like very close because the feeders is like trying to give some food. And then the only thing is no touching. Because if they will see you touching, there will be a fine uh, and you will be stopped snorkeling, you will be stopped and then uh, you will they, they will bring you to the office and I don't know, some investigation or something, and then, yeah, pay for a fine. So to avoid that one, no touching, and uh, we have this, what we call, five meters away from the whale shark, but you can get close, and then take, uh, after taking photo, you can just back up until you finish your time. Uh, as soon as you are finished there, I will pick you up there also and bring you back here. After that one, we have a break, probably cooking break, and then do the, your snorkeling again, and you will be doing your diving. Okay? 30 minutes for the snorkeling.
Still going, they're still going.
in, it uh, looks like mine.
Okay. We've just got back from our half day trip to Obslob. Now, if you don't know what Obslob is, it's where the local village go out and feed the whale sharks. And we were very skeptical about this at first. We thought if this is done, I mean, I, I'm not sure what environmental impact it's having, these fishermen feeding the whale sharks. So that's question number one. The question number two we wanted to answer is, are the whale sharks treated with respect? Is it all being controlled? Um, when we get there, we don't want to see anyone riding a whale shark, that type of idea. We don't want to be associated with that. Uh, we just don't want to see it. It's very it ends up very depressing. So we did a little bit of questioning on it. Do we go? Don't we go? Anyway, we decided to go. So we were up at 5 a.m. to drive from Kasai Dai Resort over to Obslob, which was about a two-hour car journey. So got up, they packed all our stuff for us, which is great. Really easy, really easy living. So they pack all our stuff, we jump in the car, we hit the road. We got there around seven o'clock-ish. And you end up parking, as you will see, in, as you see in the video, um, in a little, it's not a car park. It's more like a picnic area, but there are rooms there. Um, so you end up parking in this little private um, resort and that was going to be our base so we got all that stuff out of the car and that's 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 our base and actually actually from the shoreline as you see from the videos that you can see the you can you can see the fishermen preparing or, or chumming the water as it were do you can you do you still chum when it's krill I'm not sure anyway they're putting the krill in the sea bringing in the whale sharks so you can see that from um, this base camp we're at, basically. Um, the idea is we paid for a snorkel trip and a dive. So first thing on the cars is a snorkel trip. So once we've got our stuff there, packed, unpacked most of the car, we jump back in the car and it drives us, what was it? Probably 500 meters around the corner to the staging area before you get in the boats to go out and see the whale sharks so the filipino government have taken control of this quite firmly there is definitely lots of signs posters and announcements telling everyone that if they touch a whale shark there's a what was it 2500 peso i think it's pesos fine our up to six months imprisonment so they're quite serious um, and there's lots of tourist police there who are armed anyway so you turn up there and as it happens when we arrived there it was it was relatively busy it wasn't super busy but it wasn't quiet there was lots of people waiting to get on the boats so we jump on the boat and we go out as you'll see in the video and you get 30 minutes snorkel time with the whale sharks and basically these little fishermen are, are chucking krill in the water the whale sharks are coming up and eating it you obviously can't touch the whale sharks or get in five get within five meters of the whale sharks but you kind of just jump in next to your boat and you view from afar unless you're lucky enough that one of the whale sharks comes up right behind you as it did with me bumps into you and kind of knocks you out the way to get to the food um that was a, that was an okay experience. It wasn't it wasn't horrific, as in people weren't being cruel to the whales, but you do have the the silly screams. Everyone getting very excited about it, um, and as a as a diver, as a miserable person, no, as a as a diver, you know you, you're really excited, but you're not going to scream and get out of the water every time you see a whale shark. Um, so it's kind of that element you're sharing your little boat with a kind of that element as well but i actually drifted a little bit away from the boat and i was quite happy um just watching the whale sharks from afar coming in and like i say i was lucky enough that a couple bumped into me whilst heading towards the food so the snorkeling wasn't 
it wasn't a horrific experience it was an okay experience i felt um they were trying to protect the whale sharks which is really super important anyway you get 30 minutes they're back in the boat they're back on the shore and you're done we had booked the dive um so we went back to our back to our uh, base camp as it were and from there we got ready to dive once we got our kit ready back in the car with all our kit 500 meters down the road back down to the staging area um this time you didn't have to wait to get in the boat obviously you're scuba diving you could actually just when you're ready just go so that was good so we got in dove um, with the whale sharks and that was amazing um i'm gonna say something right now my GoPro 10, unfortunately, the battery died halfway. We're about 20 minutes left to go, and I had some of the best experiences in that 20 minutes that, it, that my GoPro wasn't working. But saying that, um, the diving with the whale sharks was amazing because you, you've cut out that element of all the screaming people getting excited to slash you about at the surface you've taken away that time element where the boat the people in the boat are trying to control you we were the only divers down there so uh with the guide alan there was lindsay lydia and myself so there's just four of us down there and the whale sharks kept buzzing us in fact the whale sharks um must have wanted a scratch because they kept coming over us wanting us wanting our bubbles to tickle to scratch their bellies which which when they're passing over you that close is just amazing. Um, to the point where after my camera fell, unfortunately I had one that kept coming straight for my head and I'm desperately trying to get out of the way. Uh, twice it happened and he just kept coming for me, coming because the, um, the bubbles are just coming in my mouth. So the secret is, and it took me a while to twig on, is you get your octopus out, move your octopus away from you, a couple of squirts, and they head towards, they head towards your octopus because they want the bubbles on their bellies. But um, not scary moments where they were coming straight at me, um, right in front of me, and I couldn't move, couldn't get out of the way in time. But um, I knew he wasn't going to stop, and I knew he wasn't going to hurt me, but he was, there was no stopping him coming at me, which was quite thrilling. Um, yeah, no, that was it. So that was a surprise. I was unsure whether to do, whether to do the, the, the half-day trip, it's not cheap, and I was unsure whether to do it, but I've come out of it feeling um, really good about it, apart from the GoPro 10 battery running out. Um, but I came out of it feeling really good. I've come out feeling it was a positive experience. Um, all the whale sharks are babies, but they're big babies. They're not, they're not the colossal whale sharks, but they're eight, nine meters long. They're, they're, they're pretty pretty big in the water coming up to you and when we were scuba diving um there was about eight nine ten of them all in the water above us which is another quite an amazing thing so yeah overall of, of slob um really good experience which we were really worried about that it might turn into something horrific but no it was a good experience uh, I would definitely recommend the scuba dive with the whale sharks. I think the scuba dive, even though the snorkel was good, the scuba dive way outweighed the snorkel because because with the snorkel, the whale sharks are on the surface and they're feeding, and you've kind of got this. You've got the boat there. You've got people's feet. It's all. It's it's just not very. It's not a pretty picture. Um, but when you're diving and they've come away, they've left the boats on the surface, they've left the screaming people up there. And they're coming down and they're going round and they're looking at you down below and I'm down but I think I range between 11 meters and 7 meters and they're coming down looking at you all coming to get scratched by your exhaust bubbles then then that's really special and very cool and they're super close and yeah you feel because you've got no food and they want you actually your bubbles on their belly you're kind of feeling that they're genuinely coming to look for that rather than, oh, it's breakfast time. Anyway, 
So that was Obslob. I would definitely say do it. And I would definitely say that you need, you need to do it diving. Diving takes the encounter with the whale sharks to another level. And that was really good. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the video anyway um, that you've just watched and to show you what Obslob's about and for me to tell you what Obslob's about and what the experience was like. Um, please, if you enjoyed the video, click a like, please subscribe. Always looking for subscribers. And do write to me because I do reply to all the comments and I'm quite happy to ask, answer any questions on diving if I can or dive travel or anything that I've done before I can tell you what I how I've done it and or on reflection how I would do it again differently which is an important part anyway thank you for watching see you soon bye bye